All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about some do's and don'ts when it comes to servo controls and instructions with servo controls. Um, I've seen this a lot too, and I'm going to go ahead and just cycle my process so that I'm able to start it. And I will actually, you know, actually film this so you can see it. But what I'm, what I'm trying to get at is I see a lot of times, but here lately, I don't know, and I don't know why, that people will double instructions their MAMs. Like, for instance, I have an MAM right here, right? And it has its motion control tag as MAM zero. Well, in my next MAM that's doing something completely different, I have it as motion control MAM one. So what I'm seeing is that people will have the same exact instruction, the same exact attributes, the same exact tags, the same exact everything. They literally would duplicate this, this whole rung. Let's just say we duplicated that whole rung, pasted it in there, they, and they would have it like that. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna cause you uh, unnecessary problems. See, so now I've duplicated everything, right? Now, this is going to cause unnecessary problems. It, it will look, and 90% of the time it will work, but occasionally it will fail. And depending upon how your system is working, there is zero reason. Now, I've, I've taught servo controls for the last 10 years. There's zero reasons for you to double, have the same exact, uh, let's just say, I actually, this was an instance that I saw where there was two exact same lines of code doing the exact same thing. So the MAM had was using the same tag for the, for the actual motion control. It was using the same tag for the speed reference. It was using the same tag for all of everything that was set up was exactly the same. Just like I just showed you, I just duplicated this, right? So in essence, again, if you do this, you're leaving yourself open for problems. Now, what those problems are, it depends on like your timing. A lot of people do have, uh, they're not running their systems on a uh, task based system. They're running their systems on just a continuous, continuous scan. And with a continuous scan, you're gonna have randomized problems anyway. So that goes to a whole different talk when it comes to servo controls, because when it comes to servo controls, and I'm gonna take this uh, double instruction out that I actually placed in there because Again, there's zero reasons why you need to have that in there. Zero, unless unless you can somehow convince me that, and and you have a, an absolute reason. I've I've went through time after time of pe seeing this inc th this exact process happen, or even the person would have a duplicate thing and have it AFI'd at this you know at the next one, and then they said, oh well, we had to have it because the version of of Control Logic we're running. I've never seen a tech note say that. I've never seen a tech note. I've talked to many different servo control experts with uh, Rockwell. I've never seen, and we actually taken that out and it worked perfectly fine. So again, the system does not need to have, the logic does not need to have duplicate instructions. And how you can check that is you can easily go up here and cross reference and make sure you don't have duplicates. Same thing right here. You see, I do not have duplicates. Yeah, if instead of going to edit, I will go to uh, the cross reference. You can see that it's just in that one spot. So, and that's the the destructive bit, right? But well, back back to talking about the timing. If you do um, have your system in continuous task, and you're you're trying to control servos and precision controls, especially set motion you're really not understanding the timing of the system. You're really not understanding the timing of the machine and you're not understanding the motion of how things should actually work. Again, when it comes down to it, you always see me use periodic tasks. The reason of that is because I can define what my machine needs to do when it needs to do it based upon the, the communication path, how fast my SIP motion is traveling, how fast my communications is, and how I have my task rate set, plus how I have my actual um, communication set up for the RPIs in my inside of my a, uh, my IO is exactly. So again, that that really have, 
plays heavily on that, right? So you have to understand there's a lot of things that come in play with that. You know, your your task rate, what time, how how often are you going to resample, right? And you can't resample faster than your actual RPIs of your actual I/O configuration. That's just if you do, you're just asking for problems because again, you're trying to use the data before you can interpret the data right so you got to have the data before so all of my rpis generally are set to 20 or below so that i can get my information as fast as possible um, there are rare instances in process controls where i do use 50 but in that case then i i take my periodic task up to 75 milliseconds uh, my periodic task in this case is 47 so that and just so you understand, my communic or my I/O communication, the RPIs are set to 20, so that I am actually getting two times the data before I'm trying to control it. So hopefully that did you know help you, you know, with several different things about understanding the scanning and scan and understanding you do not need duplicate stuff. Okay, there's zero reasons why you need to have duplicate stuff. So um, with that said. You know, I just wanted to make this video because I've seen this way too much in, in a couple places. And every time we've ran into the instance, I've had this exact talk with somebody and we've ended up taking this out of the system and it works perfectly fine. There are rare instances where people leave it in just because they have no clue. They just don't have the experience behind it. And that's re that's fine. Not having the experience behind what you're doing is perfectly fine because it takes time to get that experience, but to understand the people with the experience when you're trying to help you and try to show you how to do things the proper way, heed what they're trying to say. Listen to what they're trying to say because they're trying to help you and they're not trying to just say something malicious to, 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 you know, to, you know, deter you or to confuse you or anything like that. Generally speaking, most people are, are trying to help you when they're doing something right when, especially if they're a seasoned person that has the experience behind them so i know this was a lot of talking and and stuff like that but again when it comes down to it you need to understand with servo controls please understand that you do not need duplicate in instructions with the same exact tags okay if you're going to have duplicate instructions that's one thing right i got two M mams but i don't have it under the same same tag this is a completely different tag completely different function of the actual process one goes up one goes down if you see this i'm going to a position of 200 and then i'm going back down to a position of 10. so again that's two different functions there's zero reasons why i need to duplicate either one of those rungs okay it that rung does what it's supposed to do accurately every time and it's reliable that's the simple easy way to understand how that should be done so again if somebody in this world can convince me of a reason why you you need to duplicate that please please comment below but if you do if you if you i've done this i've taught servo controls for the past 10 years if you again when it comes down to it if you have an example send me the acd file send me the process send me how it works and i guarantee you there's zero reasons for you to have that so with that said hopefully you took this as a word of advice and you took this as to something to open your open your eyes to understand how servo control should be and understand how instructions should be right it's generally not a good thing when you have duplicate uh instructions on anything right uh, but when it comes down to it hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one